Um, well, I say going back to the DAS killing off the, the, the macro base station, I, I guess I always, I'm a little skeptical of any kind of comparison of that nature where you see one thing, one, one technology or one networking trend killing off another one. I think you're still going to have the big macro base stations out there for a long time because while they do have drawbacks in terms of siting them and installing them, and certainly, you know, they, they, they can be acceptable, susceptible to like network coverage holes where buildings and things block them. They still provide a fairly effective mass coverage. But at the same time, I think you're also going to see, especially as we move to more data intensive networks, we're going to need to see better spectrum efficiency uh, where you see the deployment of the radio or the entire base station closer to the end user. Because one thing to remember with any kind of radio network, I mean, when you see a, a, a vendor talk about, you know, how many megabits of throughput you get from the radio, as you increase your distance from that radio, that throughput decreases. So if you're trying to sell a network of a high speed, you need to get those radios closer. So that's why I think you're actually going to see a mix. I mean, you're going to have the macro out there for the nice initial coverage, but then you're going to see things like DAS. You're going to see Pico cells or Metro Femto cells. You're going to see some of the other types of solutions that have been coming out since uh, this year between Alcatel's Light Radio or Ericsson's Air or Nokia Siemens Network's Liquid Radio. All these are somewhat designed for easing the installation, smaller footprint, and getting the radio closer. But I would say overall, the future is definitely going to be a mixture of all of these things because it's really hard with radio networks to have one absolute for everything because um, topography is different everywhere. Uh, you have service provider issues in terms of how they're selling the network, what they're trying to sell to, what their end user like, um, financial issues, um, issues of coverage versus capacity. So it's really going to just be a mixture of everything.